Hey guys, so Ono Shohei, retired now. He's in Europe giving seminars. We had a four day seminar from him and I had some spies. Some spies in the audience getting me some footage. And I thought I would just go through all of it, kind of highlight some points that I found. I watch Ono Shohei all the time. I think I know pretty much everything that he does, but I did learn a few little extra things in here, a few just minor details. Like this also Tokari here, tucking his elbow in. In competition, I really see him kind of taking a top grip, so I don't really see this variation of also the gutty from him. And I mean, just looking at these these throws here, you really gotta just recognize that his also the gutty very unique, and there are a lot of variations. This is one of them. This is the stomping also the gutty that he does, and this is kind of a point here, kind of clotheslining his opponent. And I've put it at the end of this video, kind of at the end of the video, I've, I've got a gripping section. Kind of some points about gripping that he does and there's a reason why he's able to clothesline people like this so stay tuned to that at the end of the video All right this is uchikomi from him and he does a a bit of a seminar on uchimata and his variations and his entries and kind of his logic behind it all and it's kind of interesting i think it's hard to hear what he's actually saying because of uh, the camera and where it is but from what I can gather, there's a he kind of talks about the reason why he came up with the the spinning uchimata that he does. Also, I'll play this game. Check out the kochigari that he does on the opposite side. I've seen him do that in randori a couple of times. I haven't seen him do it in competition, but Ono Shohei is probably the only person who I've seen doing kochi on both sides. It's very very awkward to do it on the opposite side. But anyway, here's his Uchimata, and I'm gonna hate myself for saying this, but his Uchimata very Hanegoshi-like sometimes, except when he does the, the spinning variation. You'll see that here, this time double sleeves, and then the spin, and that's more, more classic, but a lot of the times it does look like he's doing a Hanegoshi. And this is a really nice point, so not really an Uchigari into Uchimata, but kind of stabbing the leg in and then going for the uchimata and this is a, another huge thing that him and Maruyama do and more people are starting to do it all over around the world but just the follow through with the leg doesn't do it here but sometimes he just swings that leg far across his opponent's head and in competition it just really allows him to plant people into the ground I thought this was interesting we've seen this before this was kind of done by Ono during COVID his kind of wall Uchikomi by himself, but then he brings up uh, Shimizu, gets him to do it, and this kind of point here, just pointing that knee down, toes up, twisting the hips in like this, this here, an interesting training method, and you can see the, the follow through with the leg again, it's really quite quite incredible. Okay, so this is the spinning Uchimata, so if you, if you kind of go normally, there's a possibility you'll miss your opponent. And so that's why he decided to spin, first spin, and then bring people onto him, kind of avoids missing. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I guess Ono, in his younger years, kind of experienced people getting out of the way of his Uchimata. And here's an Ashiguruma variation as well. And this here, I mean, forcing his opponent to push against him, and then using their energy back towards them something he definitely looks for okay so from here on out this is we've got like three four minutes left but this is mostly gripping which is the most important most exciting stuff for me this is really interesting so he talks about the sleeve grip here and how it doesn't really control the body but this grip that he likes on kind of the armpit sometimes the bicep just gives him much more control of his opponent so that's one reason why he likes this grip. And then he's going to talk about defense and what people do. You can see here, it's it's a strong grip. It's difficult to break. And here, defending. So if people try to go underneath, he can put his elbow down. He can block them here. And then he does talk about it when it's in the top position, how easy it is to break off using the opposite hand. And breaking off like this frees his hand to kind of take a top grip or go for that close line or sotogari that he does. So this is a definite strategy. 
the opposite hand here, breaking it inwards. I know Nagase does this a lot. And ties it in with his Ashiguruma. And then another technique here, gripping up by the tricep. And then pulling his opponent in close to him. Kind of squishing his elbow in. And then taking a top grip. And, I mean, I'm just having flashes of Ono Shohei doing this in some of his matches. Sometimes it happens so fast you don't really see it. This one here, I did not know that he did this. So he's got that armpit grip, and then his opponent has their left hand on their lapel, which is very, very typical. So pressure down on the arm, and then go underneath. So because you're pressuring down, they're naturally going to want to go up. And then you release, go up with them, take an inside grip, just like this. And you can go for Osoto or Uchimata. And of course moving while doing this. There's that top grip, breaking it across. I mean, this is this is the game plan, right? You, you really see guys talk about the game plan. But this here is 100% the game plan. Using the elbow here, breaking it downwards. And then against bigger opponents, I'm sure he, he loves facing bigger opponents. So this is how he would break a top grip with one arm against the bigger opponent. Using Sasai here. But also, and this is a really important point, taking that armpit grip or even a grip on the bicep. Once you break the grip off, he, here it is here, the bicep grip. Once you've got that grip, it makes it really difficult for your opponent to take a top grip. And look at the control he has. And so White, I mean, he's forced to post with his left hand, and then he's just going to execute the same strategies that he did a second ago with that left hand. You know, putting downwards pressure on it, breaking inwards, or is this interesting? Just going straight lapel, maybe he doesn't want to break it off sometimes. So yes, very interesting stuff from Ono Shohei. I learned a lot from the seminar. I wish I could have been there, but I'm in Japan and I'm not in Spain. So this is what I've got, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something too. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.